Hi guys, and welcome to Car Mechanic 2015. Great to have your company. Now today we'll be doing a full restoration of the Royal Bianco. It's been a while since we've actually done a full restoration, so I thought it was about time we, uh, we actually did one. Uh, as I said, the Royal Bianco is a car of choice today. Uh, starting with the bar parts condition at 44%. There's a lot of work to do today, as you can see. Uh, parts condition at 44%, the body condition at 40%. And a carved value of 12,380. Now I didn't actually uh, drop down what the car was uh, valued when I purchased it at the at the auction, but um, generally it's about 10 grand less than uh, what it, what it is when you when you come out of auction. But uh, as you're just trying to uh, repair up the uh, the body there, as you can see, just at the at the, at the welder. So good to use that it, at the welder there. It repairs all your all your body up. I've just taken all the uh, whoops. Oh, gotta love that sound. Just taken all the uh, body parts off there and um, just try to repair up as many as I can. And it's just a matter of um, putting those body parts back on uh, that we uh, managed to repair up, or um, or purchase brand new parts of those who uh, the the parts that weren't there or the uh, or the parts that we managed to repair. So it's just a matter of finding those parts in the uh, in the repair shop. Oh, sorry about that guys, I just had to stop the video uh, just to do, due to a bit of bad weather out there. I don't know what's going on there, it just seems every time I, um, I try to record something there's bad weather going on outside. So it uh, makes the windows rattle and the, um, the blinds shake, but uh, it is what it is. We'll continue on. And our last episode we did the uh, Maori URS, which was episode 30 of uh, 15 Minute Makeover. So if you missed that, go and, uh, go and check that one out. Uh, we now should have a repair from every car actually available in Car Mechanic 2015. Uh, so in that series uh, you'll find repairs from the Bolt Rept Reptilia, uh, Tempest Magnum, Salam Flemo, Bolt Hellcat, Royal Crown, Royal Pier Pierco, I think that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong if I'm, uh, correct me if I've got that one wrong guys. Uh, Katagiri Katsumoto, uh, Royal Bianco, the Mayan M6 and M8, nice little cars they are. Uh, the Delray Impala, uh, Royal GDR, uh, both the Salam, the Salam Spectra, and the Kieran. Uh, we also did the some of the DL car, DLC cars, beg your pardon, the Malak. Not my favourite one in the game, but uh, there you go. Uh, Salam Spectra, uh, the Secura GT20, Delray Custom, uh, Belray Grand Mojave. A uh, couple of nice trucks too, the Caster Earthquake and the Caster Earthquake Rex, uh, nice, nice trucks they are. Um, then we get into the Mercedes-Benz, the Mercedes-Benz uh, 560 SEC and the 300 SL. Um, the Cobra, Panther, Secura Moon and both the Maseratis, so the Maserati Strido and the Sebring. Now we're still wait waiting on the last Maserati uh, to be released, the uh, Quattro Porti. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Not too good with the old uh, pronunciation, I'm sure, but uh, which is actually still on the wraps in the in the showroom. If you have a look at your showroom, it, it's still got covers on that particular one. So if you like any of these cars, you'd like to see them again uh, in the 15 minute makeover series, and just pop it down in the comments, guys. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. We've actually been receiving some great feedback comments from you guys, so thank you very much for taking the time to to do that. I really do appreciate you uh, taking the time to to uh, pop some comments down, some feedback, some uh, both positive and negative. Um, I'm uh, more than happy to hear from you in regards to any of those. But uh, we'll continue on with this build here. We're just getting the last of the parts repaired up now. And as you can see, I'm just pressing the shift button there just to, to get those parts repaired up a lot quicker. Uh, I mentioned before that, so you don't have to confirm every repair. Just hold the shift key down and smash that uh, a left mouse button and it will pair them up fairly quickly. After the re, uh, after the repair stage now, just in the, in the different sections, and let's look at that gearbox components. Bring the tablet up, and we'll get into the uh, gearbox section. One of those, a flywheel bearing. And generally, if uh, if you need to get any gearbox components in, then that does consist of a, 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 a flywheel or a or a bearing there. 
<clears throat> excuse me, that list uh, has got uh, a bit of a sore throat. Let me just take a fresh uh, sip of fresh coffee here at, uh, just to wet the whistle as we uh, as we get those parts back in on this uh, on this uh, uh, restoration. Now, as I was saying, guys, uh, if you if you like any of the restorations, then let me know. If you, if you like the restoration builds or you, or you prefer the 15-minute uh, makeovers, um, I, I'll still try to keep these builds around the 15 to 20 minutes mark. I know what it's like trying to sit through a video that's of, of that length, so um, I do try to keep them short, sharp, and shiny. But if they are too long, guys, just uh, just let me know. I'll, I'll condense them down as much as I can. Or if you'd like to see the uh, the full length build, then uh, yeah, as they let me know in the comments, and I'll I'll leave them at uh, leave them at full length. I know others actually have uh, on their restorations on their longer builds have had it, put it in uh, fast forward and and made it go a lot quicker. But um, I personally don't like that. I, you know, uh, you can't really actually see what's going on. But uh, if you prefer that, then uh, then let me know, and uh, we we can we can do that as well. But let's just get these. Uh, brake components on there, the calipers and the brake pads going on now, the tyre, nice brand new tyre over the top of there, like so, get those nuts tightened up nice and quickly. Let's come around to this other side and get these uh, last quarter, or this quarter components in as well. More bush, a bush, better words in English, more rubber bushes going on now, oh my god. Sometimes you can English and sometimes you can't. <clears throat> also in the comments guys, just let me know what games are you into. Uh, are you into a uh, car mechanic? Are you into a truck mechanic? Are you into a uh, uh, train simulator? There's that many Sims games out there these days. It's, um, it's fantastic. It pretty well caters to, to most people's tastes. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let me know what game you do. Perhaps we can do something uh, a bit different on the, on this channel. Uh, if there's a particular game that you you like and you want to want to see. Um, for those who are interested, yeah, just uh, hit me up on Steam. I'm uh, I'm on uh, on Steam. Have been for quite a while now. Uh, if you want to um, add me to a uh, to your Steam's list, you can uh, you can see me play different games. If you if you want to see that, we can we can. Um, uh, broadcast them if you if you want to see it uh, during the uh, during the actual build, or you just prefer to see them uh, when I upload them to YouTube. Entirely up to yourself, guys. Uh, I'm uh, I'm fairly easy to get along with. Let's get that into there. I just had to uh, had to get some of these error messages that keep popping up <coughs> during the during the recording there, guys. So bear bear with me. I must keep remembering to, to turn off updates while I um while I do these recordings. So um, just a lower suspension getting tightened up there. Front wheel hub getting in nice and quickly. Just so brake components going in now. Things are going together quite nicely, actually. The um, I just actually I just let you know now, guys. What I'm actually endeavouring to do is change out the uh, a number of cars that I've actually got in the uh, garage. A lot of the cars I've done two or three times, and um, I thought well, we'll try something different. Well, actually, like, I've sold a number of them, or a pretty well. 90% um, of the cars that I've doubled up on and I'm looking actually doing uh, full restorations on all the cars in uh, Car Mechanic 2015 so um, we might even actually have a look at that next episode and see uh, how many cars we've got left to do and uh, which which ones we've actually got to, uh, to pick out from the garage let's get that car back down and get some of these engine components uh, whacked in the engine bay as well. Engine block, of course, is a major component, and uh, all the all the parts bolt onto that. Let's not forget those uh, clips, those pesky little clips too that um, that we often forget. Just whack that battery in. As you can see, these these components fly in nice and quickly. I'll try to get as many components in uh, from the top here as I can in one hit. And then um, raise the car back up and do the components all from the bottom. Just just saves going back and forth, back and forth to uh, 
Put the car up for two, two or three parts, and put the car back down for two or three parts. So you do as many as you can while you're here, and then uh, then raise it up when only when you have to. It just saves a saves a bit of time for you. Let's see what we got here. We might need to, yeah, get back under it and put the um, crankshaft in. I think it's about it's about the next section. Normally, um, oh, yeah, let's get the oil filter in, crankshaft in, and those crankshaft bearing caps. And there's three of those, of course. And the same when you take them out, guys, is that um, you take the uh, crankshaft bearing caps and then the crankshaft. But actually, when you, you actually take out the, the clamps and then you need to go back to the top of the engine to take the, take the pistons out and then come back and take the, the crankshaft out. So uh, it's a bit of, a bit of up and down on that particular uh, exercise to get them all out but um, it is what it is you know as I do you just try to uh, limit the amount of times you need to lower, lower and raise the the old lifter there let's get these shockies in and the cap as well the amount of times I've actually forgotten to, to do that cap is uh, yeah quite a dollar for every time I forgot that cap I think I'll be a millionaire Let's get those uh, wheels nuts tightened up and do the same on this side. Now that that, uh, um, that gearbox is in, we can, we're able to get that, uh, that drive, I was going to say drive train, it's a drive shaft I think, front drive shaft. Let's have a bit of a look around to see what we've got remaining in this quarter here, let's not forget, let's not forget that. I've actually been playing a fair bit of uh, World of Warships lately, guys. So if you uh, if you want to see a little bit of that, then, then uh, yeah, just post it in the comments below if you if you're interested in seeing any warships. So I've I've got a little bit on my uh, channel warship wise and uh, uh, a few games with some of the outfit friends. But um, if you want to see more of that, yeah, just uh, just let me know in the comments section below. Uh, actually, speaking of outfit friends, guys, um, you may or may not be interested uh, interested to find out that this may be the last uh, video for a little while um, as we are all heading off to PAX uh, in about a week or so, so um, which is going to be quite interesting. So uh, some of uh, uh, life's little little exercises are coming into play there. So what it means is that I won't be able to uh, release any content for a little while. Um, but hopefully we should get some interesting footage from from PAX, and um, see whether I, uh, I might even be able to release some of it. I don't know how you go with copyright laws in regards to filming it at uh, expos. We'll, um, we'll see about that when we get there, I suppose. But um, so yeah, that's what's going on uh, in real life. So it'll be a be a bit of a long day actually. Uh, the um, finish work. Well, about six o'clock in the morning, and a uh, bit of a drive down to the airport. About a six hour, six hour drive to the airport after a twelve hour shift, and then hop on a plane for about an hour and a quarter. So, it'll be a very long day, but uh, it'd be certainly worth it. Catch up with the boys that I've been been hanging out for hanging out with for a couple of years now uh, with AG7. So, looking forward to, to catching up with the boys and having a few beers, and, and of course going to the expo. And see what the what's what's the latest and greatest in regards to the gaming industry. But anyway, let's get back to this build. We've got the uh, the belts going on now, and the belt tensioner is one of the last components in regards to that particular section of the of the engine. Radiator and radiator fan, as you can see, I just normally leave those to to last. They often get in the way if you uh, if you try to put them in too early. Let's pop the car back up and get this oil pan on, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Get this oil pan tightened up. Like so. And what have we forgotten? The fuel pump. There's always one in there. Actually, if we lower it, it'd be easier to get to. Now, there's a helpful hint for you guys. If you uh, if you do forget your fuel, uh, fuel pump, then just lower it down. It's a lot easier to get to than trying to get to it once it's up on the hoist. Pop some oil in it. It's not going to go too far without en any engine oil. Get 
Get in the old girl, there we go, nice and full. 20 bucks, easy done. And that should be about it, no parts left in the inventory, so that's always a good sign. Everything's 100%, another good sign, parts condition and body condition 100%. Restoration bonus, uh, 11,924 with a car value of 38,423. Alright guys, that's the uh, restoration of the Royal Bianco uh, completed. I'd like to thank you very much for your company once again and I'll look forward to it next time.